Watch this. The light shall bring victory. Light uh, formal here. Nope, keep the Vargoth. The great thing about Vargoth is that like when he's on the board, you can play Confuse, smack him in the head for a bunch, and then he'll replay that spell, right? And you'll just go back to having those thick boys with the sweet behinds. Double confuse. Okay. Spellstone is good with the Vargoth in the res pool. I'm trying to decide if I coin out a Vargoth. It depends on whether or not I hit the... Uh, the Shadow Essence in the near future, because I obviously want to be able to Shadow Essence with Vargoth on the board. Okay. So that means I probably hold, because I could coin Shadow Essence for a 50-50, or if the opponent kills the Vargoth, um, we have options there as well. Free of that blasted That seemed like a good play. I think I'll do the same. So, there's no good... Oh, jeez. Well, the opponent's just going to be better than me. Kill off the Vargoth, resurrect, and look for a 50-50 on the uh, Forbidden Wards. Hopefully get double Vargoth. Or I can just coin out the Shadow Essence, I think. I think this is the play, because I can't leave that Vargoth on the board here. Not what I wanted. I need to find Psychic Scream. I think that's the only way I can come back from this. Mass Hysteria might work. Probably not this turn. I think just getting this out is perfectly reasonable. I do have a Spellstone. I also have, like, more Resurrects, so if I can just manage the board... Uh, I have more layers of threats than the opponent. So, something to keep in mind as well. But statues are a, a little bit of a problem for me just because I don't have, like... I need minion damage to, uh, to win. This is a guaranteed clear with the, uh... No, not guaranteed anymore. I forgot about that. That's a scream. So these two could hit. These two. There's always going to be one minion left, right? The Vargoth is almost always going to die. That's the important thing. It's likely to be one of the statues. So, yeah, let's uh, let's get another spell stone. That seems good. And then just take four. Oh no, that worked out. I didn't think about that outcome. That was not a likely outcome, wow. Was that the only way that cleared? Because that was pretty good. Probably need to scream this board. And then we set our own spell stone. Played some Divine Spirit Cycle Priest with Pint Size, so it's satisfying to OTK Priests with their own statues. That's an interesting idea. I've seen the, the heavy cycle builds of uh, Priests, but I never thought about, like, um, Divine Spirit Inner Fire as the win condition. I'll probably play some of the Cycle Priest of some sort soon myself, but... I think I just ripped this. just so that we can get a second one. Nice. Uh, I need to get these dead. 
because they're important for my game plan. Just about any resurrect effect is good here. I think um, servitude might be the best option. I want this deck. Yeah, let me get it for you. I think I need to pace myself just a little bit better in terms of the, the resources that I currently have available. So I don't want to... I don't want to dedicate this... Uh, ooh, okay. I don't want to dedicate this spellstone until it's further ramped. Or I could coin it out. But it's always pulling the same three minions, right? So that's 24. That should be lethal if the opponent doesn't have an answer to it. But I think it's better to get these grizzlies in, into play. I'm going to coin out the, the stego. Uh, just to get this further ramped. And like, I'm not doing much else with the coin. Okay. More statues is kind of what I was afraid of. I can't kill it. So... Like, the whole point of this was to get the Grizzlies in the res pool anyway, so. Let's, uh, let's see what dies first. I wonder if this deck could use that, like, two mana heal. I want that dead, and I want this in play. Need to cast four more spells? Ugh. Mass Dispel? Yeah, Mass Dispel might be a good card in this. Mass Dispel might be better than Shadow Word or... It's a good place for that to go. Yeah. Maybe one of each? No. I can't do that. That's a good outcome. Uh, we've just got lethal if uh, this sticks, so. I think this is our opening. We get wrecked by Psychic Scream, but that should be the last one. Mass Hysteria. I don't think that's going to do it. Maybe it will. Wow. That took a lot of damage off the board. That's just in your deck. 17. Yeah, we're not getting there. 15. 19. Another card I'm considering is that, like, two mana heal thing. Probably got to kill the Vargoth. And maybe even kill off this uh, low health Grizzly. So let's see what we get off of this. There's the Vargoth. I want to kill this off so that it um, has the board space for... Or so that it's not taking up board space. We're just making trades. Now we have lethal on board. Tonight, That's a Barnes. Glorious redemption. Behold. Uh, I'm just going to assume that this is lethal and not bother counting it. So hit there, hit there. Yeah. Let's start here. And we're going to uh, confuse our opponent. As long as it doesn't kill uh oh no, it's guaranteed. You have been. Yeah. Victory or death. The light shall bring victory. This is good into pirate. This is good into pirate. We could go coin five into five into six. Yeah. None will Odd. Okay. 
Yeah, I mean, we've just got more layers than Big Priest, so I think this is okay. <laughs> um, yeah, quest changes things, but at a certain point, the opponent's going to stop having armor gain, which is going to give us an opening to uh, start pushing damage. I don't know if I want to coin a Shadow Essence or 5 drop. I'm leaning towards the Shadow Essence, right? The sooner I can get that going, the better. It also gives me the opportunity. Oh, well, yeah. This, uh, I drew into Spellstone, so sure. I can ramp that with the coin. I'm really hoping to get Vargoth off of one of these Shadow Essences. The, um, the Echoey guy is another good target for the second Shadow Word Horror, so this is a another matchup where the uh, the horror is relevant. Oh, well, better luck next time, I guess. Just want to get that Vargoth out and dead. Shield Slam? No Shield Slam. Out of that Blasted Tower? Free of that Blasted Tower? Unlucky. That is a lot of armor. That is still a lot of armor. Get that dead. Bring back a couple more. This is 24, 30, 35. Still not there. But we give ourselves the opportunity to kill off this Vargoth, and we're also ramping the Spellstone. Three more spells. Oh! Oh, that's great. Uh, yeah, let's just do this. This is an opening, right? Because we get six minions. Opponent has to brawl this. Or we win. So we can just start resetting still. Not the end of the world. Still a good outcome there. That's one brawl down, one brawl, and one flurry. So, important considerations. I don't think I want the Zilliax in the res pool, so I'm going to servitude to this guy. And servitude into this guy. Push face. Says the potential to set up a lethal. Eighteen, thirty, forty-two. Needs to be another brawl. It's not even counting the Zilliax. Yeah. I need one more spell that isn't uh, confused. Again, I don't want this in the res pool. Unity, precision, perfection. I think I'd play one of these confuses, just so that I can get the spell stone maxed, or at least up to the next... Uh, Because this means it's uh, this is going to guarantee pull all three minions, which means I get six minions, which I only need one confused to win, so this makes the most sense to me. Missing eight damage there felt pretty bad, but I do lethal damage in a single turn, so.
Okay, there's a brawl, it's the last one. And I just have double mass resurrection plus some spell stones plus some uh, nat one natural resurrect. So, or not spell stones, uh, shadow visions. Digging for brawl. Didn't find it. I mean, it wasn't necessarily a kill. I still needed the second confuse. But man, this deck is relentless. 